Hey, how's it going guys? My name is David Delgado and this is my Management 420 blog report project. So the topic I decided to choose for my blog is to talk about kicking and punting. Kicking and punting is something I'm very passionate about as well as I'm very knowledgeable about. I played four years here at San Diego State University playing football uh, as a kicker punter as well as I played throughout my time in high school. And I feel like kicking and punting is very, is very much a growing trend that people want to uh, learn more about. A lot of soccer players are making the transition from soccer to football as well as a lot of people from many other sports, such as rugby. Uh, the list goes on of people who are transitioning into football. So I feel like uh, kickers and punters are very much growing, especially with all these camps going on of kickers and punters. Uh, it really shows that there's a large number of people who want to learn more about kicking. Uh, another thing is also throughout my time here at San Diego State playing football, uh, a numerous amount of people have reached out to me asking me questions such as, how do you kick a football so far? Uh, how is it that you deal with the pressure of being a kicker? Uh, what, is it, what is it that you do all day and, you know, how do you even kick a football? So a lot of people have, you know, showed interest in that. And that is the reason why I decided to choose my, my vlog report topic to be around, around kicking and punting. Uh, any questions it is that you guys have about kicking and punting, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'll put my phone number in my bio as well. Uh, so you guys can reach out to me. But looking forward to uh, learning what it is that you guys want to know. So... So a little bit about me that you guys are probably wondering, uh, who am I to speak about kicking and punting? Uh, I played football here at San Diego State throughout my four years. Uh, I very much enjoyed playing football here. My favorite part was honestly the camaraderie, uh, being, being alongside of my teammates, the great coaching staff. Uh, it was honestly a really fun experience as well as playing in front of so many fans, uh, in front of so many great schools. So that's something that I'll forever cherish and was honestly one of the highlights of my football career. But uh, specifically about kicking and punting, I just love seeing my hard work put into come into fruition uh kicking and punting is not as easy as many people think people oftentimes say you just kick the ball that's all you do but you know kicking the ball isn't as easy as you guys think uh putting a ball between the post uh you know whether it's in cold weather or on a windy day or the conditions of you know how the team's doing how's the blocking scheme uh how's your holder doing it's that all takes into effect when it comes into kicking field goals as well as punting you know How's the weather? If it's windy, can you kick against the wind or are you going to have to uh, do a different type of a punt? You know, it's not just one style of punt, there's multiple styles of punting, which is something that I want to show you guys throughout my videos, uh, how to kick and punt. So that's something that I'm looking forward to showing you guys. Uh, and more about me. Uh, so I played soccer my whole life. I've been playing since I can remember. I've always watched soccer. It's something that runs deep in my family. Uh, I've been playing since I was six years old, played throughout my time in elementary school, middle school, high school. Uh, and unfortunately in college, I did not play high school because I decided to pursue football, but I picked up football, American football, kicking sophomore year of high school. My friends just told me that, hey man, you know, you should try kicking. And the main reason I wanted to kick wasn't even a kick. It was to spend more time with my friends and be alongside of the football team. So sophomore year, I ended up trying out. Uh, the trial went very well and I loved it. I worked my way up to the starting position, got moved up to varsity uh, halfway throughout my sophomore year and I loved it. I loved it. Uh, the pressure did get to me a couple times, but I didn't fold. Uh, you know, it could be stressful sometimes kicking in front of so many people. And uh, another thing about kicking that a lot of people oftentimes don't think about is unlike any other position, you might just only have one opportunity during the game to prove yourself. Uh, you know, a quarterback can miss a throw, but he could have the next, you know, the next down to make a completion. Unlike kicking, if you miss a field in the first quarter, you might just have to sleep on it the whole game because you won't have another attempt. So it can be very frustrating, but it's also very rewarding. Uh, it's very rewarding to see your teammates uh, root for you as well as uh, help your team succeed and put points on the board. So that's something that I very much love about kicking, uh, the pressure, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. But uh, you got to make the best out of it. And it really is a very uh, it's a very rewarding position to be a part of as well as punting. Uh, you, your defense could really thank you if you could kick a 70-yard punt and give them uh, 90 yards to to stop the offense. So it's a very cool position to play. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people oftentimes very much overlook and undervalue the kicking punting position. Yet there's a lot of attention to kickers and punters when it comes down to win the game. Uh, Adam Vinatieri won a game for Tom Brady in the Super Bowl for the Patriots. And kickers have been praised very much throughout time. Uh, for the performances, you know, a good kicker can really be a game changer to a game or he can lose a game. So kicking is something that I feel like a lot of people very much care about. And I myself, I want to try to bring that knowledge to you guys. Uh, whatever it is that you guys want to know, please feel free to reach out to me so I can provide that information. And I'm looking forward to providing more vlogs for you guys so you guys can enjoy them. Thank you.